there's been several questions around um, being asymptomatic and transmitting the virus and at what point are you infectious um, and there have been questions also around you know it, you know for example the healthcare worker potentially infection they're affecting their families and I just wanted if you could talk a little bit about how people get infected and when they get infected and, and what what we should be thinking about in that context sure it is a coronavirus and it does get into our systems mainly through eyes nose and throat um, and it doesn't jump this is a good thing about it. It does not jump. So if it's on your hands and you wash your hands and don't touch your face, easier said than done, I know. But if it's on your hands, you don't touch your face, it's not getting in. So just a, a brief reminder about that because it's really hard sometimes not to touch your face, but that's what armpits are for. Start holding on to your armpits for the next little while. But the biology part's important here. Or yeah, the outside. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. I just tuck mine away. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'll touch my face. Um, but that's important because the other way that it really and truly does spread is droplets. So it's not an airborne virus. And there was a report that came out a couple of days ago that I've answered 200 questions on about the 23-foot virus spread. So I'll talk about that at the end because everyone's read it somewhere on Google. Dr. Google has been busy lately. Um, the, most of the droplets that get generated by a cough or a sneeze come out of your mouth or your nose and they are heavy and they drop within six feet. And that's why we have this six foot distancing rule. It's because the droplets that are generated by regular coughing, talking, sneezing are generated with a power and a heaviness that usually has them drop out with those droplets that contain virus within six feet. So, that means that if you're not within six feet of people and you're not coughing and sneezing, it's not easy to spread the virus. Could you have virus in the back of your throat that's sitting there that you don't know about before you get symptoms? Yes. We think it's often very low amounts of virus, at least for most of that period. And also, you're not, if you're asymptomatic by definition, generating those frequent coughs and sneezes that actually spread the virus. So are you completely asymptomatic? Probably not. Are you the most infectious person going? Definitely not. And if you're maintaining all the other good stuff and everyone around you is, even if you're that asymptomatic human, it's very hard for you to infect someone else if people are six feet away, they're washing their hands, washing high touch surfaces, and not touching their face. So that's the asymptomatic human being part. And uh, that 23 foot thing, if you work really hard, if you're, if you're generating a ton of massive coughs and a really big person, apparently you can get a few droplets that'll go 23 or 24 feet. Could happen on occasion, but clearly it's not happening frequently or with high efficiency, or else this would be a virus that would be spreading much more quickly when people are within two meters, and it does not. So could it potentially happen? Maybe, but my bigger thing is, whoever that human is who's generating those massive coughs that send their droplets 23 feet should be staying the heck at home and they should be out around other people. So 23 feet maybe, but I'm not too excited about that. And the one thing to add, this uh, web, these all these webinars are videotaped so people can go back and see how many times any one of us has touched our face through the course of <laughs> webinar discs. I watched myself do this earlier. <laughs> and I, what you can see is that I have a massive container of hand sanitizer right next to me. <laughs> and my hands are going back under my arms. 